Okay, Graham, a 3 1 win this afternoon. How do you look back on that game? It was a good test. It was good to blow the cobwebs off on an 11 v 11. Um, some of our play in the first half, uh, although it took a little bit of time to really gel, was really good and really incisive. And it was good to see some of our players who've been out on loan come and fit back into the group and socially interact well with the younger players. Um, and it was exactly what we needed. So we thank our opponents for coming over and, and giving us a test and giving us a push. And, and just said to the guys there, they have to understand that when you play for this football club in particular, you need to complete 90 minutes. The game's never over at 45. We need to maintain our standards. And I thought we struggled a little bit in the second half to match the standards we'd set in the first half. But that's good. It's good learning for our young players. Yeah. And obviously, they did going at half time with that three goal lead. What was your message to them at that point? Um, don't allow them to dictate. Make sure that we step onto the front foot again and see if we can dictate. And we didn't. Um, I thought we were quite sloppy in, in our distribution. We were quite self indulgent in our play. Uh, I thought that at times we, the place felt as though it was going to be a little bit easy because it was three. Um, and we talked about not giving them any encouragement and we did that and for 15 minutes we lost rhythm we lost shape we lost structure uh, and we put ourselves under pressure credit to them they came through it but we need to be better than that i think and, and i've just said that to them there that that when things start to become challenging go back to the things that you know don't try the extravagant stuff just make sure we play good football really well so basic fundamental football played well is 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 key and once we did that we do have players with quality that can open teams up but I thought we went away from that a little bit too early and, and gave them the encouragement we didn't really need to but credit to them they managed to stick at it and, and really open our opponents up at times albeit without the fluency that we showed in the first half and a bit of a mention for Keenan McKechnie as well he's obviously been out long term and, and got half an hour today well he's just had a little ripple from the players there because everyone knows what it's like when you're injured it's, it's hard it can be a dark dark place at times when you're struggling a little bit but it's made for him to come back onto a pitch like this and get half an hour with his, with his mates that he hasn't had for a while. It's, it's a brilliant end to the story, hopefully, of that chapter of his, of his career and hopefully he can kick on from here. So he's got a big smile on his face. He's feeling a little bit tired, he's a bit leggy, um, but in a good way. He's, he's had lots of days where he's been tired and he's, he's, been, he's feeling exhausted where he hasn't really had that end bit and he got it today and I'm really pleased for him and, and hopefully, as I said, we can put that bit to bed now and really move forward. And you did make quite a few changes in the second half with everyone getting some minutes. Was that important today? Yeah, it was because we've got, we've got uh, Carl McClelland and, and Leon King who have both played for the 18s on Friday, so they got half each. Matthew Shields, obviously, has been out on loan. He needed some more minutes. Josh McPake's been out. He needed minutes. Unfortunately for Glenn, he picked up a bit of a knock, which mean, meant we had to take him off. But we've, we've got a squad, even though they're younger, it's important that they go and see the challenge and go and see... Um, what we do at, in this squad. So I thought they, they accepted that challenge really well and they moved into the game fairly well. But we need to make sure when called upon, our younger players, no matter how far down we go, are all ready and all understand. And I just challenged a couple of the younger ones there that they looked a little bit lost at times. They, they, were, they were working hard, but working without real purpose and understanding. And I, I asked them whether they understood what was required and they kind of ummed and ahed. And I said to them that if they walk onto the pitch at any stage and they're unclear, they need to be brave enough, they need to stand up and say, I don't understand. Which is then for the coaching staff to say, that's great, it's an opportunity to coach, to teach, to help this young player understand. And we saw it happen in the game. We would prefer actually that they walked onto the pitch knowing, but we feel they've walked off the pitch knowing, which is good for us in, in, in that regard. But they need to understand as young players, they have a responsibility to not only do what the 18s do, but do what the first team, do what we do. They have to understand their job. And the last slide, as always, when we play in our games is know your job, do your job. That's all we ask of them. Uh, and, and they're getting there. But the mistakes that happen along the way are important for us just to see where their understanding is at this stage of their development.